George, thank you very much for taking some time out of your pre-season to chat to us. Um, how's everything going so far? Yeah, it's going well. Um, the boys are doing well and we're slowly uh, adapting to the new style uh, the coaches brought in, which is good. And the boys are starting to gel a little bit more and yeah, things are going well. We, we got the win, so we're through the next round of the FA Cup. So that's always a positive to have competitive games in pre-season too. Just touching on that new style, a lot's, uh, like Gershwin said himself, he loves to play an attacking style of football, you being a forward. Yeah. But obviously he's music to your ears. How have you found it so far? Are you enjoying it uh, more and more each day? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Like, I think this year it's going to be um, a lot more attacking. We're going to throw probably a few more bodies forward and I, I feel like we'll create a lot more chances to score than we have. Um, in, in recent memory and, and it's good for someone like me, it gives me a little bit more freedom. Um, instead of sort of having to stay in my position, I can, I can rotate with other players in different positions and make forward runs and so, so it's all positive and I'm, I'm obviously just learning more and more about how he wants me to play and, and I'm just trying to do my best. Obviously, well noted that it's the longest pre-season in the world, unfortunately you came down with a bit of a hamstring problem after our first pre-season friendly. You obviously made your return. How was the recovery? How was it feeling? Was it good to get back on the park of course? Yeah, it was good. Things uh, have been going pretty well. The hamstring is is 100% now and I think that was my second game back. I, I got a um, 45 minutes against Melbourne City the week before so things are starting to feel better. Obviously I, I'm not there with my fitness yet but that'll come the more I play and and obviously pre-season is really long, but it's really important to stay fit and get minutes under your belt. Because if you don't have that, you don't have the, the base in the season. That's what I felt last year. I missed pre-season and then in the season, I didn't feel match fit when I was playing. So that's really important for me this year. And that's what I'm looking to do, stay fit and play lots of games in pre-season. Just touching on that FFA Cup game, obviously the uh, Olympic FC, they, they were quite organised. They did put us under the pump quite a bit. But you did come on, did um, score the winning Penalty, uh, just talk us through, were there any nerves stepping up for it? You have taken a few in, in, in the past, but any nerves at all? Oh, of course, there's always nerves taking a penalty, no matter what the stakes are, but um, I'm always confident I'm going to uh, score from the penalty spot and I'm confident I'm going to score in the game as well. So it was just one of those things uh, I, I knew I wanted to take it and, and, and it went in, so it, it was all smiles, but um, the team looked a lot better than um, the Melbourne Knights game so we're pushing on and and the team's starting to really gel which is good. It's also your, your 50th appearance for the club just talk us through your time here and, and do you have any particular memories that stand out um, in your time? Um, yeah it's been great since I've got here um, the the whole club has really welcomed me and and all the boys are great I've had I've got friends now that I have for life so um, it's, it's been amazing and obviously there are a few moments that stick out, um, goals that I've scored and, 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 and stuff like that but I'm, I'm looking in the future now, I don't want to reminisce too much, I want to um, do well this year and, and push on from that and really looking to have a big season so that's my aim. Just lastly, you've also been named in the under-23s camp I believe for yeah. um, the national, national side. Um, Thoughts ahead of ahead of that experience. Good to represent them, the, the, the national team to a certain extent um, once again. Yeah, yeah, it's it's fantastic, and obviously going into a camp like that, um, it's it's always good to sort of play a different style and and sort of round your game off a little bit more. So it's obviously fantastic um, to go in there and be under. Arnie and, and a few of the other coaches and learn even more and just try to soak it all in and obviously try to play a few few more games um, in that in that period too so I'm very excited for that. Thank you very much for your time George. Easy.